attend college classes in a different setting and unlock what parts of yourself can't be unlocked within cinder block walls. You can be an engineer and co go into Glace and have your thinking completely changed and start considering a lot more of like the human implications of your work, which I think is going to happen no matter what field you're in. Um, but you can also be someone like me who is like, oh, am I sciencey enough for the bio station or something um, and, and going there um, and realizing that science and the humanities aren't opposed. They work together in a really neat way. Hi, I'm Eva Roos. Uh, I'll be a co-director of GLACE, Great Lakes Arts, Cultures, and Environments. Hi, I'm uh, Fritz Swanson, and uh, I'm also the co-director of GLACE. I um, have a master's in landscape architecture and master's of science in conservation ecology from University of Michigan. And uh, today I work as a landscape designer. What I, I'm hoping to work on with the students is um, looking at texts that are from that are from Western science, but also from indigenous ways of knowing. So a variety of um, local authors in that way that make you actually question, um, is there really only this one way that I grew up seeing the world? And then using different mediums like writing, drawing actually to change the way that you see, and also like introducing these people to the plants, getting being able to read the landscape differently. I have a writing background. I have a journalism background, um, you know, creative writing degree, and a lot of experience running publications and doing publishing work. I mean, I'm really interested in the idea of um, the way the landscape informs the spirit and the creative, um, the creative impulse. You know. I am curious about investigating who we are in this place and what makes a place home. One of the main questions is how can we learn from a place rather than just about it? And so that means going into a lot of the different natural communities, like the wetlands, the actual lakeshore, the uplands. I really see my ambition as is honing students' capacities as as instruments, as uh, sort of like cameras, recorders, like to, like like uh, like calibrating their capacity to catalog the experiences that Eva is describing. You know, Glace is really special in that um, it it mixes up, it tosses up the the roles we have, um, where you know Fritz and I is teachers will also definitely be learners and will ask students to do the same. I'm bringing up some paper and we're going to make our own books and uh, just blank books. And, and so we'll be able to, you know, to, for Eva's drawing um, process and for our own note taking process. And we'll be able to print in those books and include samples in those books. and actually have the Glace students choose um, different student research projects to go out and help collect data and actually go on these um, go on these excursions. So I'm going to be bringing up a couple of um, printing presses. Grow some of our own plants in the in the greenhouse. You can walk outside your cabin door and there's the sun rising over the lake. We're going on a hike or a run together between the campfires um, and the talent show. Those are things you definitely don't get in Ann Arbor. And not only is it like so beautiful and so therapeutic, but you're also really bonding um, through being in nature together. We're gonna encounter this place as we were meant to encounter it, as, as we were evolved or made or created to encounter it. I just always describe it as changing the way I think and the way I view the world around me and especially like the land that I currently occupy. Um, so I think just if you're looking to get your worldview totally shifted, like place is a wonderful thing to do. Just gonna flip your college experience on its head.